Okay, in this quick little video, we're going to have some fun by making a homemade hand warmer. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this baggie. We're going to fill it with these super absorbent polymers, these little crystals that are going to absorb our water. And once we get that going and set up, we're then going to add calcium chloride. There's about a tablespoon of each of these. And calcium chloride is going to react with the water and it's going to cause our exothermic reaction and create our awesome little homemade hand warmer. So to get started, I'm just going to put our about tablespoon of super absorbent crystals in there. I'm going to add just enough water, maybe about, I don't know, a quarter cup. Basically just enough water for our crystals to absorb. We're going to let those soak. Alright, now we can, it's been a few minutes, we can now see that our super absorbent polymers have sucked up some of our water. It's kind of made this jelly mush. All this is really going to do is just kind of give uh, our little hand warmer here some texture. It feels kind of mushy and fun. So now, what's really going to happen, so we're going to introduce our calcium chloride here. Maybe add a teeny bit more water. So that calcium chloride is going to start reacting with the water. And already I'm feeling some heat coming out of this. So I'm going to mush it around basically get the calcium chloride dissolving but through that process of it dissolving getting a lot of heat release so this is significantly already getting warmer so now over the next few minutes this thing will actually get really really warm so we can do now uh, to enjoy your experiment is just maybe put it in like a little bag or a glove or something something kind of cloth I don't think it's gonna get hot enough where it's actually gonna burn you but that way you can enjoy it and have some fun. But yeah, even after the few seconds I've been rambling here, this is uh, definitely as hot as like tap water coming out of the sink now. And getting even more hotter by the second.